Hi, this is a tutorial video of the Waylist Manager HD apps. We'll cover the basic operation in this video. First of all, this is the main screen after you open the app. On the left hand side is the main menu with a list of different kind of uh, operations that you can do. And on the right hand side is a summary of the active waylist that you have right now. So first of all, the first thing you would like to learn is the add buttons for adding a new customer. So this button on the right top corner is actually identical to this add buttons next to the main menu. And they are um, carrying on the same operations. So hitting the add button once will open up um, the main customer um, details pages on the right and the left menu will change to a the all active waitlist with all the ad, current active waitlist and this one is the one that we just added and what you like to do is just to first editing the customer name and down here with all the suggestion is the common names that have been used in the database before you can pick any of them or you can type in a new one. So let's call him Jim here. And the next thing is the party size. So let's pick like uh, 5 here. You see that the icon here changed into M, which stands for medium tables. The start at time is pretty much the time the customers start waiting. And by default, it will be the current time when you hit the Add button. The where's are optional information that you can or you can just skip if you want to. The type here would have some predefined icons for you to um, give your customer a different kind of table. So let's say for here, let's give him a regular table, and we can also specify whether he would like to be smoking or not. In the looks area here, you can type in anything to help you to um, give you more details for your customer. Let's say here, he got a baby chair. Will be littered when we are serving the customer. So color is just a list of color if you want to classify a different um, group of customer into a different color. And it's totally fine if you just leave it empty. And ticket number, um, by default it is associated by with the color and you can disable this option in the um, settings menu. And it will automatically generate a Take number if the last one have a number on it. So let's say this customer we assign a sixty-seven, and the next time you add a new customer and change it into the same color of that group, then it will automatically generate a take number of the next sequential numbers, which is sixty-eight this time. And go back to Jim, we can add in a phone number in here. If you're using an iPhone, you will be able to make a call or send him an SMS message to look to find him about the table is ready with the two icon about here which is disabled right now and these two icon will be used for um, getting the contest phone number from your phone book or adding this phone number to your phone book and basically there's pretty much all the information that you can fill in the detailed pages the status down here so that this customer has been waiting for a few minutes already and the table type is medium and the estimated waiting time is 20 minutes. And on the left is pretty much all the active customer. And the icon here is actually representing it is a typical walk-in waiting list customer. And the one down here with a calendar sign represent that it is um, having a reservation on it. The wait list here is already sorted according to the start time. 
which means on the top of the list is the customer who had been waiting the longest time. And once selected, the detailed pages would be updated with all his details. And now we can also do some actions on his record. So let's say this customer is ready to take his table and now we can sit him. He'll be removed from the active list and the detail page would be replaced by the summary page. And for the next come the, for the next customer we can actually remove it. So let's say she didn't show up and we would like to take him off the active list. How about we would like to um, bring back a customer that we somehow mistakenly removed it. What we can do is that we can hit on this seated at session and then we'll bring us the updated today list. And on the top is the last one that we just edited, which is Mary. And now we can give her a we activate action and bring her back into the system. So now Mary is active again and now okay we can give her a table. And now she is seated and you can see the icon here with a sign that the customer has been seated already. If you have difficulties locating the customer from this updated list, we can also do it under the main menu with the search bar. Here you can type in any um, customer name, phone numbers, or even just the date that we are targeting for, and it will search all the lists that match that child career. And then selecting him will give you the detailed pages here as well. Alright, the next thing that I would like to show you is the how to add a um, reservation. So, back to this active list, down here is already a record of a customer that making a reservation. You see that she is in a um, um, graded color. It's because that the time that she start going to start her reservation is not um, up to time yet. So she will be making at the end of the list and in a graded color. So how should we make a reservation? Pretty much is exactly the same as before, but now um, what we want to do is to change the start at time from the default into some time in the future. So let's say this couple, this customer is making a reservation for tomorrow at um, eight p.m. And once this is saved it, and the time is selected in a future time from now, it will be, it will be changed into a reservation automatically. Now it have a uh, RES keyword with representing reservation and the reservation time listed on the list as well. However, if the customer would like to cancel the reservation, what you need to do is to select the record and then hit the red cross button. Now it will say that, okay, let me just remove this reservation and that's it. Uh, remember that you can always recover that from the, um, from searching it out or from the updated today list. And the next thing I would like to show you is this two bar button up here. The first checkbook icon is actually representing this summary pages. And for the reds, a different group of table size and this representing a table of two people a small, medium, large and extra large. The table size and capacity can be defined under the main menu and table size settings here. What you can also define beside the capacity of the table is the estimated wait time so that which will be used in calculating the estimated wait time according to number of um, group of parties in the same table size. And other operations under the main menus 
will be including some um, statistics, which is um, categorized into different groups. Let's say we can look at um, statistics of different table size. So that will show you the average waiting time, medium wage time, maximum wait time, which is pretty cool that you can make your business better by analyzing those data. There are also some kind of a tools operation. Let's say you can export all the active waiters in the next 24 hours to your email. So that just in case that you are missing anything, you still have some um, backup record to fall back on. Well, okay, you need to put in your email address. Let's say we are sending our support a email. Actually, you can set a default email address into the settings menu. Oops. All right. And the rest is pretty much in this general settings menu with the default email here that you can put your email in here with a list of others um minor settings that you would like to customize customize this app. And pretty much that is that's all the general operations for now. Please feel free to send us an email at support at yproduction.com if you have any questions.